every single person I tell that I'm a marine biologist in Tucson laughs at me and says, why is a marine biologist in the desert? Um, and I really then explain to them, well, I live in a desert, but it's not far from the ocean and it's actually connected to the ocean. So I wanted a way to tell that story generally to people who come here from all over the world and think they're just in a desert that's so far from the ocean, but they're actually really connected to the ocean even as they stand in Biosphere 2. Biosphere was built and constructed in 1991. It was the first of its kind to ever be built. The University of Arizona taking over management um, in July of 2007, uh, the notion was is to really think outside the box and how we could use Biosphere. If you want to think of it, Biosphere um, really is an earth science laboratory. Our ocean, originally it was designed after a Caribbean reef environment. Um, which meant that the temperature that the water was maintained at was a, a relatively narrow band. That means that you have to use quite a bit of energy and not let the temperature drop below your minimum or get above your maximum. And by doing so, um, oftentimes you use quite a bit of energy. The, the ocean is the most expensive biome to maintain. And in fact, when, when we took it over, there was a serious conversation as to whether we should just empty it out. But we were still having those sorts of conversations when Rafe showed up. When it was a coral reef, you actually had to keep it in a very narrow range of temperature. And that causes a lot of cost and energy expenditure in terms of heating and cooling to really control the temperature in a narrow range. And that coral reef is basically dead now. And so, what we have now is a huge ocean environment with very little life in it, and we saw it as an ideal opportunity to showcase a regionally appropriate ocean system, which is the Gulf of California, in order to show our visitors and conduct research on the connections between the desert and the ocean. And what I love and what inspires me is that this is all happening within the biosphere too, which is one of the best living examples we have of big visions and practical application coming together. For a long time, there has really never been that scale of science dedicated to the earth sciences. So now we have an opportunity uh, with the ocean project in particular to, to really think about it as a tool as, you know, how do you build uh, an ecological system? RAVE has already uh, created the vision that we can educate people about the importance of the Sea of Cortez to, to the desert that we live in, actually. The desert that we have now would not exist if we didn't have that ocean next to us.